Right then guys, I'm in Bristol and I've come up here to attempt to explore uh, Raven's Well, some old sort of like water pipes that were built in the possibly 14th century and I found an entrance now uh, to get in I'm going to need my big boy pants on <laughs> I'll show you the little entrance point in a second Right, so what we've got to do is there's this little section here I kind of put the torch there a bit just a short section that then opens out into tunnels so yeah I'm gonna need my big boy pants <laughs> I'm gonna make a start see if I can do it oh coming through there oops oh that coming coming through there nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be I've got me waders on in a second I'm gonna put me backpack on right there's a dead end there but this is where the fun begins right then let's get me rucksack on me back and start going somewhere I'll have a little explore this is very clear water apparently in recent years there's been tests done this is still drinking water so I'll still fit to drink Oh, look at that. All right, okay. Uh. Uh. Right. Oh, this is getting a bit deep, so go careful, Dave. Uh, I think this might get a bit deeper. Oh, no. No, it's all right. It's not too bad. So, I get my bearings. So, the bit, hmm, yeah. Oh, mate, right, yeah, I've got to get my bearings. So, that has come from. I'm immediately discombobulated. I'm going to stop the corner, Zach. Right, yeah, I've got my bearings. I'm going to go this way instead. Because this is a, a bit of a shorter explore. I do believe. Ooh. Now I have. I have got a bit of a map on my phone. I saved a screenshot. I took a screenshot of a bit of a map. So. so Ooh, what's that little light thing up there? Oh, is that, oh, I think that's just my light reflecting off water, I think. Bit of a dead end. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Very nice. I'm going to get some photos of that. I'm just going to stop recording a sec. All right, so I've just had a look at my map. And this should be a little bit of a dead end for me now. Yep, this is another little dead end. So I'll tell you something guys, I'm glad I found that map online. My phone, glad I took a screenshot.
Now this head torch I've got on, it's quite nice being able to walk along without having to hold a torch in my hand. But at the moment, it's not really showing much up, is it? So what I'm, I have got my hand torch with me, guys, so I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I think I might, might start using my hand torch in a minute. near a railway line so that's why this comes to an end would originally gone a lot further the tunnels but oh, so the railway lines built after the tunnels were built and that's kind of truncated it a bit one thing I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna put a bit of history of the place in the description, we will have a little look at. Because I don't think I'll do a very good job of remembering the history and all the rest of be able to talk about it while I'm filming. as far as I can go along this bit so now what I do is uh, turn round go back and explore the rest right this is the end of a tunnel that I first started coming around the tunnel where I initially got a little bit discombobulated that's just a this is just a little short tunnel so I've got my bearings on that so this map I'm following is a very accurate map which I like uh, uh, and I don't want to say too much I'm, uh, and I don't want to give too much away about this place well the only thing I don't want to give away is the exact location of the entrance. But to be honest, the entrance points online. But I'll, anyone wants to come to explore this place, you've got to find it. You've got to find the entrance yourself. I'm gonna keep it a bit secret. He says as he's making a video to put on the internet. You know. Some steps here. Uh, not too shabby at all going along here. A bit echoey. Photo time. Well, I'm not going to bother going that way because that connects up with a bit I've already explored just now. So I'm going to come along this way. Oh, like this. 
see. Nice. Uh, now this was made by monks to take water down to a friary that was down in the Temple Meads area. Obviously not there anymore. But yeah, this was a yeah, this was a water to provide water for the friary. I think, guys, I'm going to need to maybe invest in a brighter head torch. I mean, this one I'm wearing at the moment, it's not too bad, but I'm sort of aware of the fact it could possibly be better. Guys, this water is so lovely and clear. I'm not going to drink it. I mean, I, yeah, earlier on in the video, I did say that tests have been done in recent years that have shown it to be good enough to drink. But I'm not sure. I mean, I don't want to risk it myself. I mean, look at that. That's nice. Might get a photo of that in a sec. Yeah, but I mean, just being down here is risky enough. So, I've been drinking the water. <laughs> I might come out with like three heads and an extra couple of limbs or something. Yeah. But now I'm going to get a photo of that. I, I think this, no, I could be completely, totally, utterly wrong. And please correct me in the comments if I am. But I think in the past, in previous centuries, this would have been a well shaft. Now, if I've got my bearings right, from what I've read online, on top of there nowadays is a pretty, pretty well known signpost in the Bristol area. It's a bit of a landmark. Well, I'll call it a bit of an unlock. Uh, there's, there's a tunnel that I've just come along. If I twizzle around, oh, dear me. Right, I'm gonna carry on. Oh, oh dear me. Come on, uh, carry on. A little bit further. So, oh. Dry part now. Right, here's a question for you, everyone. This this head torch that I'm wearing at the moment has it been doing a good enough job of illuminating the tunnels, in your opinions? Or have you struggled a bit to see what's been going on and do you, do you think it's not bright enough for the job? So, uh, just got to careful where I'm standing, just let me follow Yeah, so, uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this head torch, if you think it's good enough for the job or not. And if it's not, uh, well, at some point, start looking for a better head torch. Right, so, little branch. I think that's... I think this is almost the end now. 
I will be honest guys, <clears throat> steady, 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 this head torch was towards the cheaper end of the market, so I wasn't, any, I wasn't expecting anything spectacularly amazing from it. Surely make my way back. Uh, one good thing about these panels, Ravenswell, is that it's impossible to get lost. It's effectively a straight line. Well, it's just one line, effectively. So, I mean, I would say that if you find the map of the layout online, it's definitely worth having a screenshot of it because it's it does make make for a better experience, I think. But you don't need it. If you haven't got it, you ain't gonna get lost. As far as risk goes, I'd say probably the riskiest part of the whole thing is getting to the entrance itself. Now what I'm going to do actually, I think, oh yeah, I'll just put it down. Uh, that is probably, that's the, uh, those arrows are sort of, that's probably, that's probably the quickest way back to the entrance point. So, oh, I think I'm going to take some photos of this bit there. Yeah, definitely get a photo of that. That was a lovely little explore. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So, oh yeah, I'll tell you something, I personally enjoyed it a lot more than the War Mr. Colbert, so all good fun. Uh, I'm on my way into the city centre to get a bit of lunch. Tell you what, let's, I'm going to give you guys a challenge. Where do you think I'm going to go for lunch in Bristol? <laughs> Put a comment, drop me a comment, tell me where you think I'm going to go for lunch. The, uh, shall I do a prize for the first person to guess correctly? I don't know, because it's too easy a question really, isn't it? So, um, yeah, but anyway, making sure I can safely cross and sleep. But, um, safely cross. Yeah, guys, I might do a prize, I might not, but... Oh, no, I've got a green man there. But anyway, guys, yeah, I think that's where I'm going for lunch. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that, that's uh, Raven's Rail Tunnels. Flipping good. So I hope you've enjoyed. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, as usual, stay safe, take care, and God bless.